Hello YouTube, this is Shirley426, and today we have another review of the 5-2 Toys Beast Box line. This is the Beast Box number 32, Demon Dart. This is the latest one as far as I know. Of course, they have announced and kind of uh, teased on a few more other new upcoming Beast Box lines, but for now, this is the latest one as far as I can tell. Um, so, so this is the Demon Dart. This is based on a Horn Beetle, and, it's been, and the fact that the color is red, a lot of people, for those who are aware, of this prog line and a fan of the Kamen Rider series have mentioned a lot of the Kamen Rider Kabuto reference after this has announced. Now some people, for those who don't know Kamen Rider, were all confused with, on why they were mentioning about that rider is because, well number one, his motif is the same beetle, the horn beetle as well, and number two, his transformation device is also a horn beetle, a Kabuto beetle as well, and it's a really fun toy. Eh? So just because of this reference, a lot of people have been mentioning that as well. Alright, so before we all go on to the review, let's see what we get. So first of all, here is the Beast Box itself in its cube form, and we have the, we have it in its box charger. If you have multiple box chargers, as I mentioned multiple times, you can combine the box chargers by on top of each other or side by side, and you can make a whole wall or stack of them as well. And number and here are your typical stuff that you are supposed to get. Number one is a catalog, nothing too special on the catalog as well. Everything is mentioned there. Um, two, we have the PVC card and the instruction manual for the PVC card. So as I mentioned, you fold the, the you fold the PVC card in half, put it inside the box so that the beast box would you know pop out when you open the door. But this kind of works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I barely use these PVC cards at uh, cards as well. And finally, we get the card, uh, its own special card. I actually, I really enjoy collecting these as well. Definitely loving the art style. And then here on the back, we have some stats and story of it, of him as well. So if you want to re read the story, do you can pause the screen at the moment and read. But while that's going on, we can also check on its stats. So every character has or beast box has five stats: defense, intelligence, speed, courage, and strengths. So looking at this, I say well, kind of balanced. But once again, it's kind of odd to see that it has low intelligence and low defenses despite being a beetle and then it has a really high speed courage is also pretty high and strength is pretty high so I guess this uh, other than the intelligence it does seem a little bit bal balanced as well so yeah once again there are these barcodes as well which we have no idea what they're for who knows they're maybe maybe they're working on something as well but still really loving these cards now before we go over here, so I just wanted to point out there there is the box. This 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 did technically arrive to me last night, so uh, I am technically a little bit late uh, of receiving this product compared to other people around the world. So I just want to point that out as well. Yeah, there is the box back, and now finally we get this. Now this is not this is not included in the box. This is like an extra a bonus. So this depends on where you where you purchase your beast box or from who you purchase your beast box so uh for me i purchased from a person i know who who has who owns a small business and he basically you know takes pre-orders for these kind of, these kind of toys as well so sometimes depending on when i if i order it early sometimes he would give me these bonuses so these are like extra customization parts they're always based on animals or like insects here so this one is more of a aquatic theme so we have two seahorses we have a fish gun i think that there's a hand so this looks, looks like a fish to me at least so we have a fish gun, we have sea horses with, uh, I think, saw blades on the bottom, and I don't think those tops are weapons. And then we get a small crawfish, as far as I can tell. If that, it, that, if that looks like something else, do let me know. So these, there are all these pegs and holes so that you can basically attach these onto other, any Beast Box characters or figures and modify them. Because if you see the Beast Box, sometimes, I'm not sure this is a good example, but some Beast Boxes have these uh, pegs or holes are not really used on the transformation or on the figure itself so so and those are pretty much meant for these or if you have any other like parts from Gunpla or Transformers they're also compatible as well so you can basically modify it and play with it on your own all right so now let's look at the demon dart itself so I've been playing this around for like about 30 minutes and I have to say this is really well made. If I had to say this might be top one of the top tier beast boxes out there. When I mean beast box, I only mean the one that transforms into insects or animals. I do, this does not include like the deep one or um, land breaker, which is in the mega box line. Those are more mechs rather than, uh, you know, pure mechs. <laughs> well, while beast box, are, they have this animal concept as well. So this is so currently in its cube form, and I would like to point out you might see these small missiles going on here. Uh, those actually come in separate pieces in the box, box, so you have to attach these on your own. But I would like to point out that um, 
there we go so if you get this I highly recommend you sand these ball joints because these ball joints when you just try to put them at first right away they won't go in because it's a very very tight squeeze I could barely get it in so I had to sand down the ball joints a lot and after that it started working very well so definitely I 100% recommend you sand these down so unless 5-2 toys actually I don't know made a fix for this but for now the one I received was the same case and I've actually seen other people uh, struggle it and even heard that some people broke the missile peg as well so do be careful uh, the transformation might uh, is simple but also tricky at the same time but they made this very well so let's get on to the transformation right away so so the, the beetle is like folded up in a very awkward position so let's see what well, uh, for now let's start with the legs so here we have the legs you just Fold, unfold them like this now uh, usually when it comes to these type of toys like when you transform into one form and then going back to the other would be literally the reverse of it this one actually has a different step uh, depending on which way you go through so yeah kind of odd but still interesting so you do this and then I believe on according to the manual what you do here so this is the folding part so you basically yeah there we go you do this so I'm, there we go so you do this you unfold these parts as well and then while in this form now if you're going from the beetle to box this, this has a totally different process well not exactly totally but the the this how should i say the sequence or process might be different but here is where a lot of people might get uh, you know confused so the manual doesn't really do a good job on this but basically what you have to do is you have to there we go you have to flip this middle rod section uh three 180 as well but you have to go you have to choose which way to go properly or you might you know uh end up colliding with other pieces so uh, i'm trying to go the other way around there we go so and yeah so this is this you might have this trouble as well so i'm just gonna kind of force it but once again uh, you have to rotate it in the correct direction and there you go so we're almost there so the legs you still leave, leave it like that and then up here you have to twist these um yeah let's go this way so you have to do twisties like 180 degrees and then there's these flop uh these panels you have to open up as well so when you put when you transform into box mode there's these pegs that goes into here so any folding gimmick you see there they always have a locking me mechanism so you won't feel anything like wobbly floppy or trying to fall apart as well so these are those are the really good part uh the good sections of these beast box toys and then once you're done you just basically fold oh there we go you fold these uh the back into one piece uh there we go something is colliding here uh there we go so uh once you have everything in the correct position everything should lock into place properly like that and then once again you fold the legs inside here and then you fold out the capital beetle horn like that and then you there's also extra legs on the front you pop them out there you go and then you unfold the legs and that's pretty much it uh, for the you know basic beetle form there we go and it, as you can see the legs are all folded up like this so the transformation as long as you know where what to move and where to move you, this is a pretty simple transformation when you think about it and as I mentioned the missiles are supposed to go inside here as well so they're extra they're actually like extra weapons going on here but since I already showed you guys that I don't think that's a big problem uh, issue to show at right now so here is the basic beetle form but I would like to mention that this thing also has a, another extra form regarding uh, his uh, regarding this so by looking at the beetle itself it looks really cool I really love the design we have the typical beast box like fraction uh, no not fraction the faction symbol right over here and then we have another symbol right over here which I have no idea what it is and then we have all these designs where like caution open really loving those as well so uh just for articulation let's see what we got so the horn can technically fold up and move but that's pretty much for the transformation so the head itself doesn't move as well but if you look at the legs we have these legs that can fold up the front legs can fold up all the way in but that's pretty much for the transformation and you can also spread it out all the way out like that and since this is on a ball joint you are go able to go 360 and since it's on a ball joint you can go forward and backward like that and up and up pretty well down not so much uh, sorry for the cut, I actually just got a call from my phone unexpectedly, so uh, once again, uh, the legs can go all the way up and down, not so much because there's actually uh, no opening as well. But still, the front leg moves pretty well, and now looking at the back legs, they all of the la rest of the four back legs should have the same articulation, so they're all on a ball joint, all on a ball joint, so they can go down that much, 
up not so much because there's no opening and they could also move forward and backward as well now this one is actually very very stiff so i'm actually going to uh, sand that down as well but each leg should be able to go forward and backward and they're all squeaky not uh, not ideal but and also, since they are on a Baldwin 360, rotation is possible as well. Now, for the legs, uh, there's a folding point right over here. So, there's one folding point there. And then there's another folding point here. So, let's keep that in mind. And also, since we have the Baldwin, we can also fold down. So, um, the articulation on the legs are pretty okay. But you're not really meant to... I don't think this figure is meant to like move the legs a lot. And that's pretty much it for the articulation. But as I mentioned, there is an alternative form here. And this is where it gets really, really cool, or at least for me. So, there is a flight mode. So, number one, uh, technically if you have the missiles here, you have to pop off the missiles uh, from the bottom. So you take them out, uh, and then you flip this open here. And you have like a... Uh, I believe the card does mention that he does refuse to wear the noise suppressor. So I, I assume this might be the noise suppressor, but... Yeah, since it's for its flight mode, these are like extra goggles, if you ask me. So, and then the wings do actually open up. Here we have the wings now. But the good part is that not like a typical toy where the wings will open upwards 90 degrees. They actually were open sideways like this. And at the, uh, it's like this. So it's on the perfect position here. So keep in mind the wings only open up and down like that. So they don't move up other left or right. So don't try to force it. And then on the inside, we'll reveal these gold color parts kind of gold but you get the idea so number one you can actually open these to side to side and then bring out the wings outside these are basically jet <laughs> jet wings if you ask me and then if you want to you close it down or you can just still open up to get that extra you know flying beetle feel as well and on the wings here on the bottom of the wings we have these holes or if you want to put it on the top it's really up to you but the the manual does tell you to put it on the on the bottom and i just dropped one so from here you just pop pop in the ball joint into those holes and you should be good to go so number one there's one here and then there's another one right over there and yeah we have these extra wings and extra missiles and this looks extremely cool i really love this form as well now and since there is actually a small hole here i didn't really think this through but uh, if you have an extra action base you can actually attach this onto an action base like that oops sorry about that so yeah, definitely this is meant to be like on an action base if you have uh, if you want to be on flight post. Yeah, sorry about the dusty heat action base. I haven't used this red one for a long, long time because it's not a great action base, but still I think the colors you know suits it pretty well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just because I uh, you open all these parts up doesn't mean it does it does like change any articulation. But still, th this is one of the really best beast box I have they made so far if you ask me and the toxic corner and reaper were really cool but i actually love this even more it could be just me a little bit being biased because i'm a big Kamen Rider fan as well and yeah but if you're a big fan of Kamen Rider or if you want to try out the beast box this is highly recommended if you ask me there's nothing that you can go wrong with this other than you know unless you have a hard time understanding the manual so yeah, Beast uh, Five Two Toys, you did a really good job making a awesome Beast Box using another Kamen Rider Kabuto reference. So you made a red beetle. Uh, just saying, if you have plans to make a blue stag beetle, uh, uh, you, that might be a even more awesome reference as well. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the review. This was the review of the 5-2 Toys Beast Box number. I believe it was 32. Um, Demon Dart, if you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out. So please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.